Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some more OpenAI Sora examples. All right, so that's pretty much it for this short clip. Now I'm watching and looking at a lot of this because I'm studying it. Because to be honest with you, this is getting really, 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 really close to real life. And it's making me wonder <laughs> if, you know, learning Unreal Engine for cinematics or short film is even worth it in the future because this is some pretty darn incredible work. A couple of things that I am really impressed with is just exposure. It understands exposure. If you look at this right here, I mean, obviously the consistencies between shots, those are two different people, even though they're wearing the same exact clothes. They're two different people. So obviously I'm not sure when that's going to be fixed, but the exposure here, look at this. They have some lighting, some kicker right here. And I don't know if they have reflections. Okay. So they don't have any reflections on their eyeballs again. So that will kind of like, oh, okay. That's AI. I can't see. There should be some kind of catch light in there. I mean, you do have some light right here, but it should be like around right here. I mean, especially with this light right here that should be getting some kicker light i mean that should be getting some light not kicker light but the exposure overall it understands what exposure is all about and we're talking about fingers right so that four you're missing the thumb that's it's kind of still an odd way to hold things but my goodness this is super crazy now this black and white right here is insane if this was done all in OpenAI Sora and no post-processing done, this is, it's so trippy, right? This is pretty impressive too. It's a moving camera, moving talent. There's a little bit of stuff that happens in the front. And this girl looks like Right, a regular girl to me. I mean, it, it's pretty darn impressive, to be honest. I mean, this dude's facial features. I mean, this this is this could have been somebody, you know. That's just insane. I mean, and we're talking about the lighting again. This is amazing. This is like, okay, now she has some catch lights in there, so that's why this looks a little bit more believable to me, at least. Got some shadows, just the white. Look at this, just the detail of the lighting is so freaking good, man. Now, this is kind of cool as well. You got like maybe a sundown. Now, one of the things that AI can't get yet is like spelling and putting words, but you can almost just track this in After Effects and change the lettering if you want to for like placement. So here we go again. Uh, one of the things that I noticed is not very good with volumetric yet. So you have a light shaft right here, but if you look at that smoke, it's still kind of, kind of wonky. Now this water is insane and the car coming out of it, that is bananas. That is some Christopher Nolan shit right there. Actually driving in the, in the on in the ocean you got some shoe city like a shoe neighborhood i tell you what exposure it's really it's really nailing it there's just some stuff like this right here this could have been a green screen 3d but again you can just put a logo in there somewhere because i know it can't do that yet but this right here it also actually spelled salt soda and you are seeing some reflections of that 
can down here, even though I don't think it's accurate, it still has some, you know? Then again, the light is on the right, so the shadow is on the left. So it, it understands exposure. It understands shadow. And that is a pretty darn good start. And I know I keep saying this on the channel over and over again. This is the worst this is going to look. And I know I get a lot of questions about this when it's going to come out. To be honest, I saw the actual chart on how much right now it costs to generate these. It's, it's quite a bit of money. So I'm not sure if this is going to be coming out anytime soon to mortals yet. Uh, probably to people with a lot of money, like Hollywood. I know they're having a meeting with OpenAI. So my goodness, like this could be like a Billy Joel music video right here. It's incredible, man. But that said, again, I'm checking out a lot of these OpenAI story examples because I'm studying it. And it, it is growing so fast as far as the quality goes to this. This is insane, man. But that said, let me know in the comments below what y'all think about this. Were you impressed by it? Or like, eh, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.